we are here in our control room. So in this room, um, the experimenters can control the experiment, hanging in case of a drop in the drop tube, or if in case of a, a catapult launch, uh, it's standing on the ground level. And from this control station, we have a wireless control. We can handle the experiment. Oh, it's an experiment that investigates questions of fundamental physics. So if you imagine a gas, that consists of little atoms or molecules moving around. And now you imagine you will replace them with little spheres or little rods of granular material. They are also moving around. And then you can compare the statistics of how these objects are moving around. So the basic difference between these granular gases, where you have particles, and the usual gases with atoms and molecules, is that the particles will just collide like billiard balls. So that means on each collision, they get slower, they lose some energy, and that makes a crucial difference. And we want to see in, the, in an experiment what that difference is. And so far, there is not too much done on three-dimensional experiments, or especially of elongated grains instead of little spheres. This is, this is great being here with the experiment and uh, seeing how it evolved from a simple idea to a first experiment, then even to a second experiment, and seeing also the reactions of some people out in the world onto our results. I think without these education programs that ESA or DLR have, that would never have been possible for us to do this. And so it's really great, and I hope that even other people will get the same chance and takes the chance on over the next years.